So Finch 1 and Finch 3 were clinical trials of a new JAK inhibitor called Filgotinib. Filgotinib is a JAK1 selective JAK inhibitor and the Finch 1 and Finch 3 trials are phase 3 trials in methotrexate inadequate responders and also methotrexate naive patients. So the data in Finch 1 refers to methotrexate inadequate responders. We've seen similar phase 3 trials with other JAK inhibitors, with tofacitinib, with baricitinib, with the ubatacitinib. Um, it's difficult because these are not head, we, can't, we can't compare the trials directly, they're not head-to-head -head comparisons. What I would say is looking at ACR responses and ULAR response rates, the, the data are not that dissimilar to what we've seen before. In methotrexate inadequate responses, responders, there is an adalimumab active control arm, and for low disease activity, the higher dose of filgotinib, which is 200 milligrams with methotrexate, was non-inferior to adalimumab. In terms of Finch 3, this is a methotrexate naive trial, and, and again, we've seen similar trials with other JAK inhibitors. The, one of the endpoints was superiority to methotrexate, which was a control arm, and both uh, filgotinib doses, 100 milligrams and 200 milligrams with methotrexate, were superior to methotrexate. The filgotinib 200 milligrams monotherapy actually was not superior to methotrexate for ACR20. It looked superior for ACR50 and 70, but that uh, comparison was not adjusted for multiple comparisons. And, and so um, that is not a statement one can make. So again, though, I would say that filgotinib looks pretty um, comparable to the other JAK inhibitors. One interesting um, outcome for both studies was that herpes zoster was not increased in the filgotinib group compared to the control groups. And that is that does appear a little bit different about this JAK inhibitor. I don't have a biological explanation. I would have predicted that I would have seen a little bit more zoster. It wasn't there. So, in, in summary, these are two new phase three studies on an, 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 a new JAK inhibitor, which is JAK1 selective. I would say the data are, are not uh, dissimilar to the other data on JAK inhibitors, but it will be another therapeutic choice when this drug, assuming this drug becomes licensed. Um, the herpes zoster observation is interesting. Obviously, we have to wait for these drugs to get into clinical practice to really decide whether there are differences between them in the real world populations.